30 years ago, I was the first person in history, perhaps stupid enough, to walk to the North and South Poles. And I had no intention ever again in my life of ever walking anywhere cold again. This was definite. I would say the, the beauty of this for me is that I'm doing it with my son. 30 years ago it was hell. Because one slip, one mistake, you were dead. I feel nervous because it's going to hurt me because I'm not 23, I'm 61. But I'm a great believer that if you can do a mile, you can do another 599 miles. And that's what keeps me going. You've got to think of everything because if you get out there and it's minus 40 and blowing 50 knots and your gloves des decides to, to whip off, your water crystals in your hand are literally going to start to freeze and in a week from that, from that moment you're going to have a black hand and that's from five minutes because if you're out there, it doesn't matter if you can call in a plane, all it takes is 10, 20, 30 minutes, the wrong moment and, and you're in trouble. So we've got our entire life on our sleds and contingencies and backups pretty much plan for every situation. On many days in Antarctica I couldn't see you so on those days the other renewable energies they ain't going to work so um, Barney and I will be relying on that uh, advanced biofuel to to keep us warm to keep us fed during those tough days. Keep us alive. Well yeah it might help Barney your mother wouldn't talk to me much if I didn't bring him back. back. Came back Mr. Stubby as the <laughs> stove didn't, didn't work. <laughs> but it will work because we've tested it. us coming together, two super different people and from working for four years together in a home business and being in the Holiday Inn, waking up yet again next to my father and being on economy class and yet again next to my father, it, I've realized that he, he is the biggest thing he's taught me and the biggest thing that's going to get me through this expedition is not necessarily discipline but it's persistence and this man right here is the most persistent man I know. You have to be to be the first person, in his words, not mine, stupid enough to walk to the North and South Pole. On the expedition, we are going to be partners, mates, not father and son. It's a great story that it's father and son, and I think that father and sons, mothers and daughters, fathers and daughters, people should work together more, because let's face it, we're in a survival situation here on Earth, and we do need to work together much better than we have done. Let's make it happen. <laughs>